everyone welcome to mathematics solution channel in this video we have another problem based on the rolls theorem we want to verify that whether it is satisfied or not so the given function is f of x is equal to x minus a power m x minus b power n in the closed interval a comma b so before we need to verify the rolls theorem we want to know what are the conditions for the rolls theorem first thing f of x should be continuous in the closed interval so what is the given function f of x is equal to x minus a whole power m x minus b power n in the closed interval a comma b right if you substitute a then a minus a will become 0 0 and anything this term will become 0 so similarly if you apply b then again you will get 0 anyhow you will get the finite value so definitely here f of x is or f of x is continuous in the given interval that is closed interval a comma b then we want to find whether derivative exists or not so already we know f of x is the given thing that is x minus a power m and x minus b power n then we want to find the derivative to do that this is the product of two different things right now take this as a u and this is the v now using uv formula we can find the derivative that is f dash of x is equal to u into v dash that is x minus a whole power m into v dash n times of x minus b whole power n minus 1 similarly plus x minus b x minus b whole power n into m times of x minus a whole power m minus 1 now this is the u v dash plus v into u dash now you have the common terms here so i have x minus b power n minus 1 and similarly x minus a power m minus 1 is the common term obviously yeah we can take it out that is x minus a power m minus 1 x minus b power n minus 1 then the remaining value here is n times of x minus a plus m times of x minus b now this is the f dash so obviously the derivative also exists so we can write f of x is the differentiable f of x is differentiable in the open interval a comma b now the important thing we want to verify the third condition whether the starting point and ending points are same or not right so directly we can say that f of a if you apply f of a x as a a a minus a will become 0 0 into this particular value again you will get 0 similarly f of b so b minus b will become 0 0 into this value again you will get 0 so obviously we can write f of a equal to f of b f of a equal to f of b if these two three conditions satisfied then we can say that by the rolls theorem <coughs> f dash of c is equal to 0 f dash of c equal to 0 for some c which belongs to open interval of a comma b or you can say that then there exists at least one value c of x in the interval a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to 0 in notation we can write like that and we have f dash of x so in place of x we just replace x as c you will get f dash of c now f dash of c is equal to here c minus a power m minus 1 then c minus b power n minus 1 and here also we have then it is in product of if you want you can multiply directly here n c minus a times n then m c minus b times m okay and moreover this is equal to 0 that is very important now uh, suppose I have some quadratic or cubic equation like x minus a x minus b into x minus c equal to 0 then we can write, uh, write, write that independently equal to 0 that is x minus a equal to 0 or x minus b equal to 0 similarly 
or x minus c equal to 0. The same argument I can use here. So what you will get? The first value c minus a whole power m minus 1 is equal to 0 and c minus b whole power n minus 1 is equal to 0. Now here we can get if you operate or if you find the c value directly c here you will get a and here c here you will get b okay will come it come with uh, commit later okay now first we'll simplify here now we want to find the c value so i have c common here we'll take it out so what you'll get c times of m plus n that is c times of m plus n and we have minus a n and minus b n minus a n minus b m equal to 0 again we want to find the c value so c is equal to if you bring to the next uh, right hand side this will become a n plus b m and this is a multiplication you will get m plus n now we have three values for the c the theorem says that if f dash of c equal to 0 then for that c at least one value exists at least that means what you may get more than one but the value should be lies between the a and b that is open interval of a comma b what is meant by open interval we are not supposed to include the the end points the a and b are called end points so according to that so this a value is not a valid similarly b also not valid because they are all end points this a and b values does not lies inside that particular interval so definitely this value belongs to the open interval of a comma b then you may ask one question how can you say that this va this value is lies inside the open interval if you take any particular value for a b and m and n you just verify it so it is obviously it lies between the open interval of a comma b so this is how we can verify the rolls theorem for any problem or any function and thanks for watching